It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'm gonna talk about at least three new stories in regards to Black Lives Matter. Now, lately the stories have been, of course, Black Lives Matter destroying this, or Black Lives Matter destroying that. So, I did not want to talk about those kind of stories, because those kind of stories are really boring. However, these are three stories that does not involve any type of destruction, so I promise these stories are pretty interesting to me. Now, the first story has to do with the state of Michigan where basically the Black National Anthem was sung in the whole entire place. And I figured I'd get my two thoughts and sense about this whole entire matter and also these other stories that I found lately. Now, please remain standing for the National Anthem and the Black National Anthem by the Turner sisters, Jalea and Jamila Turner. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies Of liberty So what is the story behind this Black National Anthem? Well, the song is actually called Lift Your Voice and Sing. And matter of fact, I'm very familiar with this type of song because when I was a kid, people used to sing that song all the time. And so for those watching outside of the United States, the idea of a black national anthem is nothing new to me. So, however, when it comes down to like being a song at a government official place or whatever, I never seen it being sung before in a government official place. Because you see, I think it's really important as a nation to actually sing the national anthem for the United States and not just for black people, you see. Now, the song was written as like, you know, a response to slavery and stuff. That's, of course, important. However, at the same time, I think that if we live in the United States, we need one national anthem that represents the interests of all people. Of course, the United States is made up of different people and different cultures. Of course, I'm not going to get into like all the races and all the people, but guess what? It's like a diverse country with different nationalities, different backgrounds, and it's a country of immigrants, right? And so to me, if you make separate national anthems that are based entirely off the concept of race, you're just going to divide people even more so. Because you're saying, well, you see, I'm black first before an American, or I'm white first before an American. What we should really be saying right now, to me at least, is that I'm American before anything else. For example, I'm American before a black person. I'm American before a white person. I'm American before an Asian person. That kind of stuff needs to actually be part of our culture. Yeah, for some strange reason, when you ask a person like, who are you? Are you American? No, I'm like Asian American. I'm Mexican American. I'm African American. No, you guys are just Americans. If you're born in the United States, you're American. You're not ex-American or data American or whatever kind of American. Another interesting thing that I found as of recently is that Black Lives Matter received $10.6 billion according to The Economist. And it's so bizarre and it's so strange that they got that much money, but I'm not surprised because they were like people who are like part of video game companies that were supporting Black Lives Matter. There was like Bank of America, there was like Nike, all of these giant corporations that wanna sell you products, and that's what it is, they wanna sell you products. And they fund Black Lives Matter after the death of George Floyd. And it's so bizarre to me because I cannot remember a single cent being sent towards any type of black person at all and matter of fact i heard of like these police brutality cases like as of lately i heard about of course like you know all these schools having bad stuff going on in regard to education and so on and so forth but for some strange reason black lives matter did not send a single dime towards them at least from what i've seen so far and matter of fact the last thing that i heard from black lives matter in regards to money at least was actually the Democratic Party because according to the whole entire Instagram site for Black Lives Matter, they've been waiting for Joe Biden to actually respond to them. And I guess the money somehow went to the Democrats because, you know, the Democrats 
and the politicians matter more than actual black lies. It has to be like the biggest scam of all of history so far in this country. You get like billions and billions of dollars, you have a chance to actually, you know, help out black lies, yet for some strange reason, you don't use a single dime for any black lives. And like people got like the best of them, like they rob people of, you know, actual concern about what's happening against black people, and they don't even use the money against for black people. It's just, it's just so sad really. The final story, of course, has to be like the craziest of the bunch. Black Lives Matter signs were apparently burned and destroyed at historical black churches in Washington, D.C. during a rally this weekend as now being investigated as possible hate crimes, authorities said on Sunday. This idea to me about like a hate crime for burning a sign that's Black Lives Matter is a bit bizarre. It's bizarre to me because Whenever I think about hate crimes, I think about people trying to attack other people for ideological different reasons. For example, if a person happens to be a Black Lives Matter supporter, and you happen to hate someone because they're a Black Lives Matter supporter, that to me is like a hate crime because you're actually attacking them based upon ideological reasons, right? However, just coming to like a church just destroying vandalism and stuff for like a sign that to me is not an example of of course a hate crime because to me you actually have to you know attack someone because you're actually hate them for ideological different reasons and so to at least attack or destroy some sort of sign for black lives matter that's like an example of vandalism and vandalism to me is a different crime in comparison to a hate crime right and so, by saying that destroying signs for Black Lives Matter is some sort of hate crime, sets some sort of dangerous precedence for other kind of stuff when it comes to the dissent against Black Lives Matter. I mean, we've already seen stories about people who spoke up against Black Lives Matter and actually lost their job because they spoke out against Black Lives Matter. And so, by saying that, hey, if you destroy a sign, that's a hate crime, you're basically telling people that you better not criticize this movement or else we'll charge you for some sort of hate crime. Again, I think it's vandalism. I don't endorse any type of vandalism, but to actually signalize, hey, that's a hate crime for destroying some sort of sign for Black Lives Matter, that to me seems a bit dangerous. A bit dangerous to actually say for things to come. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.